Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And today we are beginning a two-day article about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was a very important woman in American politics and in Washington D.C. And she was the champion of gender equality, a big hero to many people. Yes, she was very famous. So before we get into the article. We're going to explain a little bit about how the U.S. government works. So there are three parts of the American government, and Ruth Bader, Bader Ginsburg is a part of the third and very important part called the Supreme Court. Let's talk about the other parts a little bit, so you can learn a little bit about the government. What are the other two parts? Ah, the other two, of course. One would be the presidency. The president, Joe Biden, in the White House. The president actually can't do a lot by himself.、Mm -hmm. He can guide the government. He can tell people what he thinks. Are important the things the government should do, but really,、mm -hmm. it's the legislature. That's the Senate and Congress, the House of Representatives. They are the ones who write the laws, vote on the laws, and make new laws. So they're the ones who actually do a lot of the politics that change the country. And then we come to Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court, the judiciary. These are judges, although they're called justices on the Supreme Court. There are nine of them at all times. And their job is to sort of make sure everyone is following the laws. And if there are any problems with the law, if people disagree about how a law should be used, what a law exactly means, it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the justices, the Supreme Court, who kind of make the final decision. So if you think of politics, the way the country is run as a game. Ruth Bader Ginsburg and the justices—they are like the referees, the ones in the black and white stripes who tell people, "You're breaking the law. You're following the law. This is what the rules mean." And as we saw there in the title, she was a very important person in the long history in America. Of gender equality, making sure women and men are treated equally in the country under the law. Let's find out all about her. She's a very important lady who lived a very long life. This woman was notorious, a great dissenter, and as tough as nails. Who was this woman? She was none other than Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. All right. In our title, there we described Ruth Bader Ginsburg as the champion of gender equality. Now, here, when we use this word "champion," we're not saying she was the best. Like, if you get a gold medal at the Olympics. You are the champion、Winner. of a kind of sport. No, here champion means a very strong supporter, someone who helps a lot of people, someone who makes something very important in their life, and they do a lot to help others and to let people know about this important topic or issue. If you want to focus your whole life on. Helping animals with no homes, or helping people who have to sleep outside because they have no homes, you would be a champion of animals or poor people or something like that. Many politicians and even celebrities can be champions of certain good causes, helping children, helping the environment, helping to stop wars around the world. If you champion that, you can use it as a verb, or you are a champion of that topic. It's very important to you, and you try to get people to focus and help with this important issue. So, in this case, the important issue that this woman really supported her entire life is the issue of 
equality. Equality is the noun, and you would have heard the word equal, right? So equal means two things are the same. When it's a noun, equality, we are going to be talking about groups of people that should have the same rights. So in this case, we say gender equality. That means men and women should be able to do the same things. For example, work. For the same pay, we should both be able to vote for the same issues. And in history, it was very unequal between the two genders. So back to the article. Let's see what she fought for. This woman was notorious, a great dissenter, and as tough as nails. But yes, she definitely was notorious in a good way because often when we use notorious. We're saying that someone or something is very famous, but often in kind of a bad way, in a little bit of a maybe scary way, or a way that you go, "Oh, I've heard of that," and it's not all good. Cho Dofu is notorious for being a very smelly food from Taiwan. Even people in Canada. Or Europe, who've never been to Taiwan, never tried chow tofu. If you said, "Do you know about Taiwan's stinky tofu?" they might say, "Oh yeah, I Notorious. saw that on TV or on the internet, or my friend told me about it. I hear it's really smelly and doesn't taste good. It's not bad. It's not evil or dangerous, but it's famous." In kind of a scary way, or a little bit of a way that people go, oh, they might not love it totally. So she was notorious, and she was a dissenter. A dissenter is somebody who disagrees with something that many other people agree with, or the government agrees with. But she is going to say, "No, I am going to be going in a different direction. I'm going to be fighting and being the." Opposite of society, and in order to be a dissenter, you have to be okay if people hate you or if people disagree with you, because you are fighting for something new and better. And not only was she notorious and a dissenter, she has this characteristic of being as tough as nails. This is an expression or an idiom that's describing her. That's right. She, of course, was disagreeing or dissenting. We can use it as a verb. With many other powerful people, and yeah, to do that, you need to be brave. You need to have courage. You need to do the things you believe are right, even if everyone disagrees, even if everyone else wants you to change your mind. So you need to be as tough as nails. Nails are little things made of steel. We hit them with hammers. They must be quite strong or tough. So we're not saying that Ruth Bader Ginsburg could beat up a lion or fight with a very powerful boxer or something. No, we were saying her character was tough. She believed in herself. She believed what she was doing was right, and it was very hard to change her mind. She stuck with her principles. Would be another way. Of saying that. All right, let's move on with the article. Who was this woman? Batwoman. She. Supergirl. I think so. so. She was none other than Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader. Ginsburg. So we started by saying everything that she was. Now we've given her name to you, and we're going to be talking about how amazing she is very quickly right after the break. Ginsburg was born in Brooklyn in March 1933. Both her parents worked, and neither went to college. They taught her to care about others and work hard for what she wanted and believed in. Ginsburg's mother really understood the importance of education. 
So she influenced her to learn as much as she could. She also taught her to be independent and a lady. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the history of Ginsburg, where she was born and where she was from. The article says Ginsburg was born in Brooklyn in March 1933. Both her parents worked and neither went to college. So her parents were not educated and she wasn't from a really amazing family or anything like that. She just became amazing later on. So we have the word neither, which is a pronoun. Neither means not this and not that. We might have heard the vocabulary word either, which is this or that. But when there's an N before, it's not this and not that. So not really educated and not super rich. But these parents were pretty great because they actually did teach her some great values. That's right. They may not have been rich. They may not have gone to university, maybe just high school. But they were amazing parents for young Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We learn how. In the next sentence, they taught her to care about others and work hard for what she wanted and believed in. So we would say they gave her good values.、Yeah. They taught her maybe not all the things in the dictionary or all the words and information in a history book, but they taught her how to be a good person. And of course, that is just as important. Ginsburg's mother really understood the importance of education. So her mother may not have had a very good education herself, but she knew that education—going to school, going to university, learning many things—is very important. Or to say it another way, she understood the importance. Of education, and importance is a noun for the word that you have heard before. Important. So if something is important, we say pay attention, remember it. And if we're talking about the importance of something, it's that it is a very big deal. It matters a lot. So when we say education matters a lot, we are talking about the important. Importance of education. It's saying that when you grow up, you will really use what you learned in school, and it's valuable for your life. That is the importance of education. So back to the article. So she influenced her to learn as much as she could. Mom told her, "You want to never stop learning, and you're going to be really strong." She also taught her to be independent and a lady. So that means I can do a lot of things by myself, and I'm going to be a strong woman. There you go. Again, really good values、yes. that young Ruth learned from her mom. Her mom had a lot of influence, or influenced her in many ways. We can use influence both as a noun to have influence. Or to influence someone, and that is basically to use yourself as an example, to use your knowledge and your wisdom as a way to guide a person. You're not telling them what to do; you are influencing them by showing them a better way, by showing them how you do it, and maybe they will want to do it like you. To kind of copy you, but not to do it exactly by your orders. Uh, a soldier in an army is not influenced by the captain. The soldier is ordered by the captain. But if you look up to your brother or parents or uncles and aunts and you think, "I want to kind of be like them or do things like them," then their behavior, their actions are influencing you, making you want to do things in a certain way. And mom also influenced her not only in a very amazing way, but specifically for her to be independent. In I N means not, 
Depend means to rely on. So independent means that I don't rely on other people, but I know how to rely on myself. So if a woman is independent, she is able to do so many things on her own. She reads many books to educate herself. She makes money so she can support herself. And she makes important decisions that are great for her without following the opinions of other people. So she's independent in her mind and in her world, and that is so important because it really changed how Ginsburg was able to affect. Everyone after she grew up. So that is the end of our article about her great upbringing. And tomorrow we will learn more about what she did for America. This woman was notorious, a great dissenter, and as tough as nails. Who was this woman? She was none other than Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ginsburg was born in Brooklyn in March 1933. Both her parents worked, and neither went to college. They taught her to care about others and work hard for what she wanted and believed in. Ginsburg's mother really understood the importance of education, so she influenced her to learn as much as she could. She also taught her to be independent and a lady. Hi, I'm Tina. We're looking at this key word. The first one, neither, neither, a noun, two or neither. We can also say neither. I have two brothers. Neither is taller than me. I have two brothers. Neither is taller than me. I have two brothers. Neither is taller than me. I have two brothers. Neither is taller than me. The doctor talked to me about the importance of regular exercise. 那位医生向我谈论了规律运动的重要性。下一个单词 ，influence，influence， Influence, 动词，影响。My high school teacher influenced me a lot. 我高中的老师影响我很多。最后一个单词 ，independent，independent， Independent, 形容词，独立的。Lily is an independent girl. Lily 是一位独立的女孩。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，as tough as nails， 作风强硬的。这个片语直接翻译就是跟钉子一样硬，在这里引申为作风强硬的、意志坚定的这个意思。同样的意思，我们也可以说 as hard as nails。Tough 是强硬的、严厉的，那么 nail 指的就是钉子。我们来看看这个例句 ：Gina is our new math teacher. She's as tough as nails. Gina 是我们新的数学老师，她的作风相当强硬。下一个文法 ，A is none other than B。A 正是，竟然是 B 耶。None other than 用于表示吃惊或令人印象深刻的情况。我们来看看这个例句。Thank you. Guess what? What? I finally found who has been stealing my takeout. Who? The thief was none other than my neighbor John. What? How do you know? I checked the cameras. 最后一个文法 ，somebody was born， 某人出生于。born 是一个形容词，表示出生的。它的后面可以加上介系词，再接出生地或时间。注意接年份或月份的时候要使用介系词 in。那么接日期或者是特定日子，则是用 on。我们来看看这个例句。My grandmother was born in China in 1940. 我奶奶在一九四零年出生于中国。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Sunshine Plaza stands next to Taichung Park. It was the first major outlet shopping center in central Taiwan. They have more than 170 brands and offer discounts of up to 90% off. The outlet carries sports and outdoor products and men's and women's clothing by many famous brands. On the second floor is Kiroya Shabu Shabu, 
an all-you-can-eat restaurant with more than 25 types of vegetables to choose from, as well as quality meat and noodles. It's a good way to end a shopping trip.